Hello everyone, my name is Mahima Arora and I would like to welcome you all to VNN. Today we are going to talk about challenges faced by Indian students before and after coming to Canada. We all know the fear and nervousness before stepping on this land. It actually starts long ago when we start shopping in India for Canada. I still remember how I felt and how I just wanted last few days to either slow down a bit or just be fast forwarded. Well, there are certain things we all are aware of, but first thing first, finding a place to live is the biggest hurdle which students face after coming to Canada. And there are certain facts and things which makes it even more difficult, like costly apartments and difficulty in finding a roommate. Oh my God, I must tell you, do find a roommate which is good, otherwise your life's gonna be hell. And chances of fraud while booking a place. Hey Matthew, I just sent you my first and last payment. Oh no, I think Matthew blocked me. This is very common here, so just be aware of that. But there's always a ray of hope, and our ray of hope here is Kijiji.com and Facebook Market. We can fortunately find homes according to our budget and our convenience. Moving next is finding a job. Mostly students have to start from food industry, which is fast pace and do you have any answers to why do we Indians always have to order French vanilla as soon as we land here in Canada? I don't know, I don't have any answer to that because I ordered the same. So most of the students fail to get their job of their interest because of the competitions and lack of Canadian experience. Wait a minute, I came here to get a job but I have to have a job in order to have a job? I don't know how it makes sense but yeah, it does. It has to happen here. Next, let's talk about the juggle between job, college and personal life. Canadian life constantly forces international students to juggle between job, college, personal life, tuition, assignment and so many things. Students usually do not get much time of their personal well-being. I definitely need a cucumber face mask after this or maybe right now, I don't know, I think right now. Next is mental pressure. There's constant mental pressure and physical pressure on students because they have to do everything on their own. Like, I need homemade parantas right now. Do let me know about your favorite paranta. Mine is gobi ke paranta, but I also smell, I think somebody has muli ke paranta. It's smelling. Do you think so too? No. Okay, next is homesickness. Most of the students have lived only with their parents their whole life before coming to Canada, which makes them dependent on them not just for financial needs, but emotional needs as well. Oh, I miss my mom. Do you miss your mom too? Next is financial struggle. Before coming to Canada, students are mostly financially supported by their parents. But here in Canada, it is usually not possible because most of the parents take loans for their children and students have to manage their expenses on their own. And it gets extremely difficult for those students who have to pay their further tuition fee. Now let's talk about challenges which we face after coming to Canada. First thing is cultural differences. We cannot assume the environment we will be staying and working in before actually reaching here in Canada. But good part is I just celebrated family day here with my brother. I mean, in India, every day is a family day, but they have specific days which we can celebrate. Weather. Oh my God, I can't tell you how many snow angels I've made so far, but it's cold and it's always like walking into a freezer, but it gets better because summers are also good here, very good here. Next is money management. Although estimated idea of expenditure is already there in our minds, but money management after starting a job becomes a task. And most of the students run out of money because of their unplanned expenditures. I am out of cash, man. Already out of cash. I think all my money has gone towards Taco Bell and Indian food restaurants. I don't know how do you guys manage it. Do tell us in the comments. Next is discrimination. I won't say it's a discrimination, but mostly a correction of our accent and language. For example, it's not Wednesday, it's Wednesday. It's not schedule, it's schedule. It's not sour, it's sour. I mean, there are a lot of things that we have to face after coming to Canada. But that's it for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.